And good evening, one and all, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite. You were lost, and now you are found, and you are all most welcome here. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight, as we once again uh, take a step into the darkest dungeon. And fingers crossed we get reasonably far. <laughs> Galactic Emperor Batman! One, fantastic username. Second, welcome to the Blue Rose Respite, and I'm so grateful for the follow. Thank you! <laughs> And posture check from Blackbird12. Thank you so much, Raven. Ah, but looks like we're in for a good night. Mm. And Galactic Emperor Batman, you are now one of my lovely lost tales, and you are most welcome here. <laughs> How's it going, Raven? Glad you could join us tonight. And let us see who is in the chat this evening. We have H. Park, Shadowfang, Storyteller Breeze, Samwell. Lone Space Voyager, Daniel, Valtharis. Cool, cool, cool. Gentleman Philosopher, how's it going? Oh, let's start the stream off well. Pick a number between 1 to 5600. Um. Okay, I've picked a number. Do I have to say what it is allowed? <laughs> hey, Wolf Warrior, how's it going? Okay, Raven. Um, hmm. Okay, I have to say the number aloud. I pick... Four, nine, nine, seven. <laughs> Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. Just a random-ass number. find their way to us now that the road is clear. <laughs> Ah, oh, but fingers crossed we get some shit done tonight, because our roster is looking stronger and stronger with each passing moment. But Multipath Interference looks like they've gone for a walk. Hopefully they'll be wandering back soon. I think as we've been doing in... as What?! <laughs> Raven! <laughs> Raven, thank you so much for the 4,997 bits! <laughs> oh, dude, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> dude, you really didn't need to. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Oh, God. Thanks, Raven. I really appreciate it, man. <laughs> Lord Commander Gilliman, thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate it. Oh, and it's totally fine, Lone Space Voyager, if you weren't able to make it um, to the Q&A. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, upload on, that I posted on YouTube yesterday. <laughs> yes, everyone, uh, Blackbird12, aka Raven, he's a wonderful, wonderful friend. So li listen wait. to what he says. And he's a mod. <laughs> But yes, let us start out the game with another attempt at the Butcher's Circus. How did the lineup go last time? We actually weren't too terrible last time. I think we'll warm up with the first squad. Raven! God damn it! Raven, with the nine gifted subs to the community, thank you so, so, so much, dude. Raven, you're incredible, thank you. <laughs> you're such a great friend, thank you so much, Raven. <laughs> oh, for all of you who are now subscribers, I hope you enjoy the emotes, I hope you enjoy your lovely little badges. And be sure to join the Discord, there's instructions below on how to do that. The ringmaster demands a challenger. Mm. Oh. I love sharing the love. Like, it's really appreciated, Raven. I always insist, always take care of your own finances before considering supporting me, but shit, dude, really, thank you. <laughs> it really means a lot to me. The rabble. 
thrills to the spilling of blood. I'm looking at that username, I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> Eva Kunstera or something? Kundeservus. I'm not sure if that's something cryptic. Hey, it's all good, Samwell. It's all good. Raven just likes messing around with the chat a bit. <laughs> oh. But to all of you who are now new subscribers, welcome! Enjoy the shiny, shiny badges. I remember last year when I had a good chunk of change, I went to an art stream where I love who never gets any views and donated like 200 bucks to her. I never made someone cry before, but it was a good cry. Good on you, dude. Seriously, just... You're a good egg, Raven. You're a good egg. <laughs> Honestly, Raven, it really helps my community thrive and grow, so it really does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. And especially at the moment, um... You probably see the banner down below that I'm inching towards uh, some upgrades for my PC. Um, but yes, all of, uh, all the amazing bit donations I've been getting over the past few weeks have gone towards getting some much needed upgrades. Oh. Um... Oh, thank you, Daniel, for the hydrate check. Oh, what I need for my upgrads. <laughs> um, kind of stuff that I need for my upgrades. Uh, I'm just trying to think what the goal was. I think I maybe need, like, a fair amount of bits still. Uh, like, I think it's maybe, like... 200,000 or something like that, but just anything that people can afford to donate is hugely appreciated. Because yes, it's a substantial goal, so I don't expect we're going to reach all of it, but just anything uh, that you can send my way is hugely appreciated. <laughs> But you've already, guys have already given an incredible amount, much more than I initially expected, so thank you all so much. And now the true test. Uh, I think around $500 was the amount, like, for the total goal, and we're over halfway, so I think it's probably about, uh, 200 or so dollars left, I think. Err, I don't like that. Valtharis, thank you so much for the 400 bits! <laughs> thank you so much, dude! Shit. Oh, you guys are incredible, thank you! Raven! Thank you so much for the 5 month resub! <laughs> Seriously, dude, thank you. Compassion is a rarity. Oh, Raven. Thank you. <laughs> like, guys, every stream is my favorite stream. It's just that extra little cherry on top if I get a few extra donations, uh, some bit drops, and, and subscriptions uh, during the course of the stream. <laughs> Probably should have done that sooner. I think our dear Hellion's gonna mm, be a little bit in danger. Indeed, they seem to be. <laughs> they'll be okay, they'll be okay. Thank you for the posture check, Daniel. Oh, thank you. Find it 
in no short supply. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Gentlemen, Velociraptor with 500 bits! <laughs> More for the bit pile. Thank you so much. Dude, thank you. <laughs> oh, you're incredible. And we do have a hype train going. Oh, God, you guys are just incredible. We're off an amazing start tonight. Thank you. Damn it. <laughs> oh, good news. I've recently got my own emotes. Oh, that's so awesome, Raven. They're cute! Did you make them yourself? Very cute. <laughs> yes, share your adorable emotes with the rest of the chat. We all want to see them. Hayden, Hayden Park with 1,500 bits! Dude, thank you so much! Thank you! <laughs> Oh, you guys are just incredible. Thank you so much. Like, what we've been streaming for. Hello. Less than 20 minutes. Sorry, my voice cracked. Oh, you guys are just incredible. Thank you. Mm. Bits for the bit pile, subs for the Tom throne. <laughs> You guys know, are starting to know me dangerously well. I need to put an end to this right now. <laughs> Raven, I swear to God. <laughs> Raven, Blackbird 12 with another 600 bits. What, what is up with you guys tonight? <laughs> Thank you so much, Raven. <laughs> You guys are just incredible. God damn it. Okay, that ability is just not working. I'm gonna stop using that. <laughs> oh, Raven, thank you so much, dude. When we meet up in person next time, I'm going to give you the biggest hug. Seriously, dude. Thank you. <laughs> and cheers to all of you amazing, generous souls in the stream tonight. I'm trying to keep people somewhat sane, and this is not working out like I expected. But that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you guys are just amazing. <laughs> and the hype train is currently at level 4. We have a level 4 hype train going on in the chat. And thank you for the hydration check, Daniel. Mm -mm. Need to make sure I keep my skin lovely and glowy. I'm kind of up in the air as to whether we're going to win this or not. Yep. Starting to think we may not win this one, but that's okay. Shadowfang, are you fucking serious? <laughs> Shadowfang with 10,000 bits. <laughs> oh, I was hoping to do this for a more tremendous occasion, but I guess I can keep it going. <laughs> oh, Shadow, thank you. <laughs> thank you. 
Thank you so much, dude. Oh, you guys are absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Oh, Raven, redeem that vibe check. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, you guys are absolutely incredible tonight. Thank you so much. Sam, well, it doesn't matter if you win, what matters is you win here. Raven! Raven, I swear to God! Raven with another 5,000 bits! Oh my God! Well, guys, are just... Holy shit! The Midnight One, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. You are now one of my lovely Lost Tales. I'm so glad that you could join us tonight. Oh, Raven. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are absolutely fucking incredible. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of mm. emptiness reveal themselves. Um, I think we are at the final level of the hype train, so <laughs> we've only got a few more seconds. But holy shit, guys, thank you so much for all your incredible generosity tonight. Thank you. <laughs> holy shit, you guys are just incredible. Park with another 1500 bits. <laughs> you guys, just. <laughs> Aiden, thank you so much. <laughs> and Samuel with another 500 bits. <laughs> thank you guys so much tonight. I just have to raise my glass to you, my, my uh, beer to you again. <laughs> thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> Shattering! Good damn it! I'm trying to keep up with this! I'm trying to keep you guys alive and keep up with this! Shadow Fang with another 2,000 bits! I'm... I'm kind of at a loss for words, you guys. Just holy shit, thank you. Enjoy the pride bits. Because love is love and this is a month of full of love and you guys have shown me so much love, so enjoy the emotes that you've unlocked. From your generosity, thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Holy shit, you guys are incredible. Holy shit, I didn't even fucking notice it. We we achieved the upgrade goal. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Honestly, I didn't expect to actually reach the goal because it was getting towards the end of the month and I didn't want to ask for you guys to give more than you could, but um, holy shit, you guys, we reached our PC upgrades goal, which means I'll be able to go uh, with a friend to an amazing store to get some much needed upgrades for my PC so I can start streaming high quality games again. So thank you guys so, so much. Um, just a holy shit is all I have to say, <laughs> but <laughs> thank you. Mm -mm. You guys are incredible, generous, kind, loving people, and the fact that of all the amazing streamers that you could have like donated to, subscribed to, you choose to do it to me, it really does mean a lot to me, so thank you. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't think we're gonna win this match, but that's okay. We'll just keep going for as long as we can. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Scarlet Kingdom for her three month resub. Thank you so much, my dear. Kick their ass, babe. I will do my best. I will do my best. <laughs> You guys are just amazing. <laughs> and yes, everyone, welcome Scarlet. She is amazing and wonderful. And I play Vampire the Masquerade with her on Wednesdays, so she is amazing. I don't think we're going to win this one, but fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> um, I'm just still glancing over at the uh, achieved goal and I just, I just can't wrap my head around it. Thank you so much, you guys. You guys are so nice. I'm sorry if I just keep saying the same things over and over again, but I'm just kind of... I'm, I'm always taken aback whenever, like, you choose to help me out like this. It really does mean a lot to me. I won where I mattered. Thank you, Sam. Really appreciate it. Oh, from Daniel. Uh, I wanted to ask you, I'm writing a short story and I was wondering if I could borrow some ideas from your Disappearance of Dr. Sharp series. It depends on what ideas you want to borrow. Um, all the characters are my own original creations. Um, it depends on what ideas you want to... It's fine to be inspired by my work, just don't copy any of the plot or any of the characters or the gods or... It's fine to be inspired, but just don't copy anything from my stories, if that makes sense. There we go, we're not... Sorry, brain's still trying to work. <laughs> The goal got wrecked. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, and Doom! How's it going? So glad you could make it tonight. Valtharis with 5,000 bits! Um, thank you so much, dude! I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, you guys are just incredible. Thank you so much. Okay, Wolf Warrior, to be fair, like, it might be getting a bit out of hand, but, you know, of all the things that it could get out of hand, this is one of the better get out of hand situations. Okay, Daniel, I just wanted to clarify that, just because it's a kind of tricky fine line uh in a lot of ways it's fine to, absolutely more than fine to be inspired by my stuff just so long as you make it your own <laughs> this is but no place for yep me. But I will see this through to the end. Oh, glad I arrived just in time to see the goal achieved. Well deserved. Thank you so much, Dragon Saint. 
And yes, everyone enjoy the adorable emotes. Just fill the chat with them. Go for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and Daniel, thank you for the posture check. Oh, that lovely crackle and pop was my elbows again. <laughs> It's worth when you're based off another work and you want to change it to something different to keep like the general themes. Um, I think kind of the an homage is probably the best uh, way to define it. Yeah, we're we're at the end of this, I think. I'll see this through to the end, one way or another. <laughs> Oh, don't feel useless, Wolf Warrior. Honestly, just the fact that you're here tonight, you're in the chat, you're engaging with everyone, you're having a good time, that is more than enough. That is absolutely more than enough. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and Valtharis with the hydration check. Mm. In the end, we all die alone. How are you guys liking uh, the update I made to my channel points? Um, I call them ink drops. So the more you're active in the chat, uh, the more you watch of my streams while I'm live, then the more ink drops you collect, and then you can do fun things like uh, unlock emotes. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, you can do the hydration and the posture checks and all that good stuff. <laughs> and yes, fill my chat with pride emotes. I love to see that shit. Absolutely. Absolutely go for it. Yep. We're down for the count, but that's fine, that's fine. That was one of our less embarrassing failures, so I still count that as a victory. Mop the blood and collect the teeth. Will you muster the metal to return? Oh, we will return at the end of tonight. <laughs> yes. Fill my chat with pride. Fill the chat with pride. <laughs> Oops. But let us return. Ink, like the thick, dark, inky water that I have forever found myself lost following a woman who used to be as my toll in service of the dark god that consumed the world I once loved. Oh, absolutely. Like the ink that fills the pages of the books of the shelves of the archive, as the ink that fills your own tales, you too. By spending time here at the Blue Rose Respite, can you accumulate ink drops and then inspire me to keep going, to keep striving onwards? <laughs> Gomstein, how's it going? Welcome back. The chat is filled with glorious pride icons and I'm so happy. <laughs> you guys are just incredible. Oh, magnificent. Yes, all of the gay. <laughs> oh, let's go on a treasure hunt, because we need to still get some people up to scratch a little bit. So let's go on a treasure hunt. Let's go on a treasure hunt, collect some shinies, and just build up a bit more experience if that sounds good with you guys. Activate 3 1, make us reserves, that sounds great. <laughs> oh, Doom, thank you! You're incredible as well. Yes, Valtharis, that's exactly why we're going out on this mission. We need to get more people up to the big leagues and playing along with everyone else. This is just a short one because I personally prefer to play it safe Oops. rather than potentially get people in danger. Ooh. 
Ooh, hear me out, Steph. Get VR commissioned an avatar to look like your persona. Join us for VR chat. I don't have VR, though. I don't have VR. Like, do you need it in order to join a VR chat? Or is it all digital? Because I don't have a VR headset. Because I'm worried I'm going to knock all my shit over if I have it. Uh, that looks good to me. We're just going in there for a little bit of a jaunt. Just one person needs blood. Yep, looks good to me. <laughs> Can I take a moment to mention how relieved I was to find out how good of a person Stephanie is because she's a good egg? You're a good egg! You're a good egg, Samwa! <laughs> oh. I try my best to be a good egg. I try. <laughs> I uh, don't need a headset to play VR chat, but it does make it more fun. Okay, I'll definitely consider it. Um, feel free to message me on uh, Discord or on Twitter if you know some people in mind um, who you'd recommend could do a commission thing. I'm hesitant to commission someone if I'm just going to try it and it's not going to be the right fit for me, but I'll definitely look into it. I'll definitely look into it. Oh, from Wolf Warrior. By the way, I can't find a bottle of paint. It's really annoying me and I'm getting desperate. Can you use your magic and help? I can certainly try. Um, did you perhaps put it aside while, or have it in your hand while you were walking somewhere? Like, uh, walking into the kitchen or the bathroom and you set it down somewhere or your bedroom and you just forgot about it? Uh, maybe start looking there. Also, think of what color's missing and when you last used it and maybe that will help to jog your memory a little. Also, I can set boundaries in VR. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Doom, I will not get a VR headset and then record myself breaking all of my shit. <laughs> I'm a responsible adult. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that, Samwell. The, everyone in the chat here tonight is a good egg. And everyone take that to heart. You are good eggs. <laughs> Okay, good to know, Blackbird. Honestly, like, the next time you guys are going to go on VR chat, hit me up. Um, just, the time zones are a bit of a bitch, though. So, honestly, just hit me up when you guys are planning on jumping on next, or if you're planning on organizing it, and I'll definitely see if I can make it, because I would really love to play with you guys. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. That would be awesome to watch, though. <laughs> Me just fucking up all my shit while I try and fail at playing with a VR headset. It would be hilarious to behold. We usually play 9pm to 12am-ish. Oh, like, I could maybe try and make it if I wasn't doing anything the next day, but, um... Ooh, there we are. For a task well performed. I will absolutely try and make it if I'm like taking the next day off. But the thing is, uh, 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. your time is three o'clock in the morning for me. And since uh, Doom's in the chat, he knows um, what it's like for me to play with him when it's three o'clock in the morning my time. <laughs> Finding Ooh. the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. We are on fire tonight! Also, it's apparently a fun thing to stream. I have no idea how. Or definitely if uh, Mr. Creepy is going to be streaming it, because I think he streams uh, when he goes on VR sometimes. Um, if he wants to do that and then I can maybe tag along for the ride, I'll absolutely host it and then you guys can check it out. We will think. We will think and we will talk. It's admittedly funny because I get sleep drunk. Yes, for those of you in the chat, um, who are my, one of my lovely, uh, my lovely Lost Tales, um, I have in the past suffered stress and insanity just to play 
D&D and other games with friends by purposefully getting up at six, at uh, three o'clock in the morning to play with my friends in America. And I was part of a regular campaign for a while where I did that for a number of weeks and I, it almost drove me insane. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I get up, I make my tea, I somehow manage to stay awake, somehow. Um, but yes, apparently it is a sight to behold because everything happens in slow motion in my brain. <laughs> like, I. I love my friends to the point that I'm willing to sacrifice uh, sleep, which is my favorite thing to do, uh, just to play D&D with them. Because I love you guys. <laughs> Feel the call of the blood. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, anything we can get rid of? Yeah, let's get rid of the citrine. Yeah. Do, do. Hey, it's all good, Doom. It's all good. I cannot wait until we play, can play again. I find being up till the early morning to see uh, this stream has the opposite effect. Um, that's because y you do it on the regular. <laughs> and Hayden, it always just astounds me that you're here to watch my streams because I know you're in Australia and it's like 3 a.m. where you are at the moment. <laughs> Ooh, in one shot. Very nice, Bree. Uh, I believe we do have um, a game tomorrow, Doom. Uh, with Barnabas. I haven't had anything otherwise. Always looking forward to it. Do do do. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Ah, she's fine. There we go. Hey, welcome back, Daniel. We were just talking about uh, sacrificing sleep in order to play. Uh, games with your friends who are in other countries and uh, time difference is a monster. Damn it. Nope. Stop that. Oh no! There's no game tomorrow. Now I'm sad. I'm sure Barnabas has his reasons. Okay, we need space for stuff. Let's make space for stuff. Do, 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 do. Ooh, we have a... I'm curious. I'm going to take the gamble just in case we get something good. Laden with loot are often low on supplies. Uh, not that great to be honest. Uh, I'm happy just for taking a little bit of that. It's all good. We are streamers and YouTubers, clearly, we aren't healthy. I try my best to keep a somewhat healthy schedule. A emphasis on the somewhat. Uh, I am getting better at uh, keeping it a bit more balanced though. <laughs> Yeah, saying you're still alive, you're still alive, you're still with us. With a singular purpose. Ooh. Yes. For blood. Waiting to be spent. Hmm, what can we get rid of? Let's get rid of the jade and get more blood because we always need blood. Continue adventuring because we can keep going just a little bit further. Anything good? Okay, it's not too bad. Hmm. Planning going on all out back the first day at the gym tomorrow. Awesome, Shadow! Awesome! I can't wait until uh, my neighborhood gym opens up again. I miss it so much.
Oh, thank you so much, Doom. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're able to swing by tonight. You're always welcome back. Any time at all. But I hope you have a wonderful night. And let's try and talk tomorrow or something. Uh, since we're not having a regular game. Try and do something fun. <laughs> Otherwise, have a wonderful weekend. Yes. I will say, one thing that worries me is that the bounty hunter gets stressed very quickly. It might be also because they're a slightly lower level. There we are. Precipitates it's a, a dizzy dizzy fall. fall. Awesome. Talk soon, Doom. And let's head back because we've got some nice shinies and we've explored everywhere. Oh, that shiny, shiny loot. Magnificent. You can burn uh, Cocoon's red ones to regain sanity. I keep forgetting that. I always forget it. <laughs> oh my god, Valthara still isn't st like at level 2 yet. That's okay. That's okay. Do -do -do. Oh, I'm planning on tormenting my friends with Pyramid Head Killer and Dead by Daylight tomorrow. It's going to be fun. Hope you have a great time. Hope you have a great time. Ooh. Eat the rich. Most curious of all, however, is the absence of any evidence in the crypt itself. Nevertheless, the chest was found open. Its contents conspicuously missing. Idle grave robbers gain one resolve level. I think our... Ooh, did sh They gain a resolve level? I think Warrior leveled up. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, but let us see if we can sell some of these extra trinkets. Anything else? Anything else? Now the rest of this is pretty important. Just in case someone dies suddenly. Uh, but people were starting to get stressed, so let's take care of you. And who else? Anyone? No one else was really stressed, but we've got some people with diseases. So let's take care of you. Actually, let's level this up. Curious methodologies and apparatus can calm even the most tormented soul. And do that one as well. Get that fixed. And let's breathe there she is. And get her on we cured. <laughs> oh. That Valtharis guy, he might sound like a bit of a noob at the moment, but it's just because we need to put him up against some bigger and badder enemies and test the cut of his jib, so to speak. Yeah, I agree, Samuel. It's not exactly like a one-to-one -one even equation like, um, you know, tavern, de-stress, chapel, de-stress. Uh, so... You want to go burn some vampire flesh cocoons? Yeah, let's go burn some vampire flesh cocoons. <laughs> yes, Valtharis, I think after your next mission you'll be leveling up. But let's just double check if... I think if Warforia stays behind, then they go up to level 6. I think. Ooh, was there anyone else we were waiting for? I don't believe there was. I think we've got a full lineup at this point. Yes, yes we do. Do do do. Oh, 
Oh, it's all good, Daniel. I'm really glad that you enjoyed the ending. Um, uh, the end. Uh, are you talking about the very end or the end of Dr. Sharp's, like, the culmination, as it were, of the series of events? Oh, my lineup is missing something, is it, Raven? Is it? <laughs> Pray tell, what is it? Now, what was the next thing we were going to be working towards? Um, hmm. There's a number of things that we can move towards. The puppet theatre would actually be quite good for stress relief. Um, to be honest, like, I would really like it if we were able to get all of these things built for the different heroes before we went up against, like, either the Countess or the Darkest Dungeon itself. Um, so it might be a bit more grindy, uh, with this, but to be honest, I'd rather play it safe rather than risk you dying. Okay, so, uh, a little bit of both, Daniel. Um, so kind of, okay, for people who are new to my, uh, to my channel, I also do, uh, I write and direct and star in my own uh, ASMR tales, which are long multi-chapter stories with a kind of ASMR thing going on. Um, this is concerning the climax for the final chapter of my most recent series. So if you are new and you have not listened to it yet, maybe just mute uh, or put me on mute for the next like 30 seconds. Um, just because I'll go into the spoilers for how that ends, just for clarification. So, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. So, essentially how it ends is with um, uh, Estelle transforming into the avatar of the god uh, Ovi Bahan, which is kind of her respective god. Um, the listener is shot. She kills her brother. Uh, her cosmic twin and that kind of drives her slowly more and more mad uh, to which essentially the gateway is cracked open and Ovi Bahan kind of manifests itself and it essentially smashes its eye down onto the listener and Estelle and then the two of them become consumed by the god and so they're forever like drifting in the void of its being. I imagine them being like at that point of utter insignificance where they're like a bacteria. You know how sometimes you get those little squiggly bacteria on your eyeball that you kind of catch a glimpse of, but you can't really do anything about it because it's just, it doesn't matter at all to you. Something like that. Um, so that was kind of ultimately the fate that befell the dear listener uh, uh, becoming nothing more than a, pe a tiny piece of bacteria in the eye of a god. And then. Estelle kind of man like she became one with the god of her, uh, with her god and then she was kind of then a little piece of her was manifested into all the different eldritch detachments of uh, that particular god's will so when it came to the end and uh, the big bad bird decided to appear uh, with the rise of the full moon and eat the full moon um, essentially that gave way to a coming age of darkness in which monsters writhed and came to life in the shadows, which bore a striking resemblance to Dr. Sharp. And then one of these monsters eats the detective. So if you had me on mute, uh, you can, <laughs> you, you can't even t like hear me. So I can't say unmute me now, but yes, um, that's kind of roughly how it ends. So, sorry if that's like a- I just tried to briefly summarize it so we can kind of keep the show going. Uh, but that's kind of a rough summary of what is the main plot bo uh, plot beats of the final chapter. Mm -mm. Exactly, Samuel, they're drifting together for eternity. Yes, thank you. Thank you, chat. You're wonderful, and I appreciate you. Um, mm. Let us go looking for the Viscount again. But let's get the regular squad uh, together just in case we encounter them. Um, I'm, I'm taking Mortimer because he's kind of just a really, really good hard hitter in the front line. 
Uh, and he's really good up against these beasties. So hope that clarified some things, Daniel. <laughs> I I gave I gave a warning though, Raven, to be fair. To be fair, I gave a warning that I was gonna be talking about this shit. <laughs> But let us go looking for the Viscount again. We'll start with four blood because we'll find more blood as we're walking through. Welcome back, Shadow Tom. So glad you could make it tonight. Mm. And yes, enjoy your subscription. Uh, Raven is a wonderful, uh, wonderful bird, and he's really helped my channel grow. So thank you so much. <laughs> uh, that looks good to me. I don't expect we'll find the Viscount in this one, but I'm just taking the squad anyway, just in case we're lucky and we manage to track him down. Uh, but that looks good to me. Might grab some more torches though. Add a bit more food. Yeah, that looks good. Missed burb. And yes, Raven, I did notice that we're missing a burb from the roster, but we do have a plague doctor, so we have a burb. We just don't have the burb. <laughs> but that is why you're in the chat, and you're making sure everyone has a good time. Okie dokie Loki, where the fuck were we? Okay, we came down there, let's go this way. Okay, you need blood. Let's get that shit sorted. Ooh, perfect timing. God damn it. There, you're fine. Oh good, you guys. Ooh, good, 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 bleed. Yeah, there we go. Mm, not a fan of that. Not a fan of that either. Damn it. Frack. There we go. That cuts on its own. And everyone dodged that, so I'm very pleased with you guys. get that taken care of. God damn it. Good, good, good. There we go, finally. Very good. Yeah, there we are. Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. You guys. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the hydrate check, Daniel. Oh, Daniel, uh, thanks. I wasn't sure if I understood it correctly. I'm kind of new to this, trying to understand English instead of translating to Serbian thing. You're most welcome. You're most welcome. It was a ending I tried to articulate as best I can. Um, uh, like, paint a picture without, like, 
making it like too over the top with describing every little thing. Um, so yeah, it's totally cool that you just need a little bit of extra clarification and I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, there we go. How do you dodge a sound? I mean, I always figured it was them covering their ears in time, but what if it's not? Maybe it gives them a moment where they can actually see the sound waves flowing through the air. Food for thought. Ooh! Destroyed. Very nice. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. Good, good, good. Damn it. Not a fan of that. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Oh, thank you so much, Daniel. I really appreciate it. A lot of work went into that series, so it's really good to hear that people enjoyed it. Okay, Storyteller Brie, why is it I can imagine uh, it's kind of like that scene from The Mummy when uh, Imhotep is just like Rah! at uh, uh, O'Connell and Evie, and then O'Connell just goes ah and shoots him. <laughs> Maybe it's something like that. Blood, blood, gallons of the stuff. Drinking all that I can do, and it will never be enough. So give them blood, blood, blood. There we go. More blood. More blood. Hmm. Ah, that's fine. Keep moving forward. <laughs> okay, glad to hear I wasn't the only one who was thinking of that. And I think The Mummy is all, one of my absolute all-time, like, just feel-good movies. Because it's just that right level of ridiculousness and perfection. It's a good horror action movie and it's fun as fuck. Um, hmm. I'm hesitant to go to the left just because I think that there's probably a better chance that he's not going to be down there. I'm going to go this way. Okay, see you in a bit, Raven. Thank you so much for joining tonight, and holy shit, thank you so much for all of the subs and all of the bits. Really, dude, I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, the 90s CGI is really quite terrible, but it's got 90s Brendan Fraser as well. And the stunning Rachel Weiss as well. Damn it. There we go. God damn it. Sneaky motherfuckers. Okay, people are getting stressed easily, so Jester, Samwell, your job is to keep everyone somewhat sane. There we go. That's 
looks more like it. Honestly, I was too young to see the mummy uh, in cinemas. Um, I was a little bit too young to even see it, see it on video when it first uh, came out. Like, I think I was like maybe actually 15 or something uh, when I eventually managed to see it. But I loved it. I loved it so much. Clarified in a single strike. Okay, Samuel, your job is to try and keep everyone somewhat sane. Oh, posture check from Daniel, thank you. Oh. Ah, do my best. There we go. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. And let's lean off of that for now. Well, apparently you guys need sanity. And I'm trying to be responsible and keep you guys going for as long as I can. <laughs> I think the biggest thing that gave me the creeps in the mummy movies were the scarabs that could burrow under your skin. Like, even though it was bad CGI, uh, like, compared to nowadays, like, when you're watching that for the first time, and that's kind of like the level of CGI that you're used to, it still kind of creeps you out. And I think the first time you see what they do when they crawl over that guy who's trying to run away from them, and all that's left is like a emaciated corpse. Ugh. Yeah, absolutely, Samwell and <laughs> Shadow Tom. That stuff freaked me out when I saw it for the first time. Because the thing is, it's not graphic. It's not. Gr it's just gruesome. The idea of what happens when. The gross, 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 gross. Very nice. Very nice dodge with that repost. Ooh, what about the It movies? Uh, guys in the chat, who's seen the It movies? I have, uh, I saw both in cinemas. I absolutely fucking love them. Absolutely love them. Ooh, very nice. Very nice, Daniel. I think, uh, I think the second one had a lot to live up to with how successful the first one was. Some people don't like it as much as the uh, first one. Um, I originally was of that stance just because it had such high expectations to live up to. Um, but I need to rewatch it again, actually, uh, the second It movie, because I've seen the first one maybe about five times at this point. Uh, my sister and I love to watch together all the time. Uh, but I had so much fun uh, with the second one, and the casting was just spot on. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Uh... Let's give you some medicine. Hmm. I've got plenty of torches. Let's make space for a little bit more gold. And let's give some people some buffs. Ah, 
I know your secret, your dirty little secret. I know your secret, your dirty little secret. Like, he just has so much fun playing that character, and it's and it shows, and he does such a good job of it. <laughs> uh, I personally haven't seen Wolf Creek 1 and 2. I know I need to. As an Aussie uh, horror fan, I think it's my duty to watch it. I just haven't gotten around to it. Inspiration and improvement. I will say, one of the biggest things that I love about the new It movies is that the people who made it clearly had a lot of love for the original novel and they really delved into what the core themes of it were in a lot of ways and uh, they really brought that to life. <laughs> oh Valtharis, you like my Pennywise impression. Good to know, I'll keep doing it. <laughs> I'm finding more and more I'm better at doing impressions of different things and y'all should be afraid. It's just one of those things, like, just experimenting with different voices and- Oh, hey, that's actually not bad. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry, Hayden. I'm sorry. I'm such a disappointment as an Aussie horror fan. <laughs> Correct response, Dragon Saint. The more horrifying impressions I do, the more you should just encourage me to do them. Japanese Pennywise ASMR. No, no, because the second that I would ever consider doing something like that, there is a certain section of Tumblr that will come for me, and I'm I'm scared. I'm scared of that. Uh, it depends, Shadow, if you could do an uh, if, like, you have a laugh similar to the Joker, it depends which Joker. That's the question. Oh, that's awesome, Hayden, that you got to meet the director of Wolf Creek. That's so cool. There's another Australian horror movie, I think it's called Lake Mondo, that I really need to see sometime because I've heard it's absolutely amazing. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of hey. Also, I like the look of that treasure chest. Remind yourself hmm. that overconfidence is a slow oh, and insidious killer. killer. Okay, what could we make space for? I can feel you judging me, but shut the fuck up. <laughs> Anything good? Finding the stuff mm. is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. <laughs> We've got a good amount of crests and everything else is necessary at this point, so sadly we're gonna have to let that go. Hiya, Georgie. What a nice boat. Do you want it back? Fun fact, I can't move my eyes um, like uh, he can. Like uh, how he can move his eyes independently. I can kind of roll my eyes back, but it's not quite the same. The <coughs> Excuse me. Returns, even the yeah. Gaze. Did this bitch fucking surprise us? Why are we all out of formation? Guys, get back into formation! The way it ended, he said, look at you, you all grown up, immediately thought of how to beat the Sandman. 
<laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, hydrate check from Valtharis. Thank you for that. There's nothing human about that actor, like Dave has <laughs> well. There. Ow. Ow. I bumped my elbow and now it hurts. <laughs> God damn it. I remember David, ha David Hasselhoff from the cinematic experience that is the Spongebob movie. I saw that movie in cinemas and I'm proud of that. Sorry, I thought it was raining outside. Evidently not. Oh, I'm so glad that he kept the, uh, Hasselhoff boat from that movie. It's, it's such a weird prop, but I'm really glad he got to keep it. Maybe uh, David Hasselhoff, he's not an android, but he's a replicant. He's like a prototype replicant. Just saying. Hey, there we go. This momentum. Push on to the task's end. You guys are stressed. Why are you so stressed? He's a synth from Fallout 4. Ooh, got another battle room ahead. Fingers crossed it's a good one. Hey. Very nice. And now you want blood. That's okay, we have blood. Blood, blood, blood. Ooh, uh, advice on what to drink. Mead or Irish coffee? Um, it's like... What a... What time is it for you? It's probably like five o'clock in the morning where you are now. So I would personally go with mead, just because uh, I that that's the thing. I used to have insomnia, but I don't really anymore. Um, but I imagine caffeine might make you a bit jittery, whereas like a, a nice mead is probably good for kind of like a late night uh, refreshment. I find that if I drink too much coffee, I get really jittery. <laughs> I have to walk away from the computer and it's 4am. Why do you do this to yourself? Like, I'm delighted that you're here with us tonight, but... Just take care of yourself, man! We all want you to be alive and well. Any suggestions for what movie I should watch? What mood are you in, Daniel? Do you want horror? Do you want comedy? Why the fuck did everyone get switched around? God damn it. God damn it! In the afternoon on the Pacific Coast. You all need to go to sleep. Yes. Take care of yourself, guys. God damn it. Okay.
We all float down here, Georgie. Oh, okay, you watch all kind of movies, Daniel. Um, I'll always recommend good horror flicks. Uh, it depends what mood are you in. Do you want something that's uh, more like a gory sort of movie, or something that's a bit more low-key and experimental sort of stuff? I was just trying to suss out your mood for what you're looking for. Hey, there we go. Funny story, I once had a car accident, uh, a full rollover. Wait, what? Wait, Tobias fucking died? I turned my eyes away for five fucking seconds and we have another down hero. What the fuck? A moment of silence for Tobias. May our beloved Vestal rest in peace. Is Wherever they may lie. And yes, they were our healer. We're gonna get through this fight, but we're gonna have to turn back. Also, Veronessa, hi, how's it going? Injury and oh, fuck. Okay. That took me completely off guard. Like, what the fuck? They wouldn't take healing. God damn it. I'm so sorry, Tobias, if you're watching this. I'm so sorry. A decisive bubbling. It's all good, Daniel. It's all good. <laughs> These things happen. Yep. Yep, this is fine. No hope in this hell. No hope at all. Oh, shit. Okay, we'll finish this fight. Grab their trinkets and then let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Hydrate check from Daniel. Many thanks. That's better. What do you do when you cross a vampire and a snowman? Frostbite! Ha <laughs> ha Oh god. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry, Tobias. Oh, imposter check from Baronessa. Thank you. Imposter check. There we go. Oh, fuck. Yes. Driven into the mud. Okay, so we need space for three more things. Because we're turning back, we can afford to grab all this shit. Okay. Okay, then it, that leads just to that room. That's okay. Let's head back. Oh, fuck. Yes, Baroness, I do tend to crack my joints a little bit when I stretch. <laughs> Sad loot dance. We'll try not to die, Shadow Tom. See you in a bit. Jester, come closer. Last word. Son of a. Ah, <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry, Tobias. Our dear beloved Vestal. Competition fosters skill and confidence. Archery tournament. The keenest eye and steadiest hand will prevail during this week's tournament. The winner will claim the coveted, uh, coveted Caretaker's Cup. Idle Arbalest gain one resolve level, and Idle Musketeers gain a resolve level. Very nice. Yes, so let's leave these, uh, or at least stay on here because then they get another resolve level. 
And we're gonna have to wait for a new Vestal to come in. Fuck. You know what, let's increase this, because uh, then we ha increase our chance of uh, high-level Vestal coming our way. Foolishly seeking fortune and glory in this domain of the damned. I just feel so bad. Those beautiful- at least we get the beautiful rare trinkets back. Oh. How could this happen to me? <laughs> Let's get everyone taken care of. Anyone else need a break? No, we're all good. Let's maybe go on a treasure hunt. Oh, but at least we got some shinies out of it. <laughs> okay, see you in a bit, Hayden. The team mom just died and I'm not handling it well. Everyone pour one out for the Vestal. I feel genuinely bad. Because, like, Tobias has been with us since, like, the beginning. Fuck. God damn. That stings. That really stings. Because that's the thing. I try not to, not to get too cocky nowadays. Um, <laughs> it's all good, Daniel. These things happen. These things happen. I just get a little bit too reliant on like, okay, this person does this, this person does this, and I don't notice stuff stacking up. So when they all like hit at once, then it brings uh, a hero down very quickly. So it's all good. It's all good these things happen. I still feel bad. <laughs> hmm. Let's do a long one, because I don't think we've done a long journey in a while. And there's some good rewards for this, so let's do this one. Yeah, that looks good. So, the party mum is dead, and um, in the meantime, let let the kids uh, try to behave themselves. Uh, these two stay behind so Theon gets an extra resolve level. And let's go for a long journey to get some more shinies, okay? <laughs> Tobias has joined us in the sky above. Yes. And may they rest in peace. We're gonna go on a nice long walk. Going into the wheel, so that means anti venom and shovels. Plenty of food. Oh, need some more torches. Good, good, good. Oh, uh, have you known, I've started taking my homework assignment seriously and started watching My Hero yesterday and now almost halfway through season two. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're watching it. What do you think? Um, I love it so much. I'm steadily getting back into anime and kind of catching up with stuff that I haven't watched over the past decade. Uh, I've really badly fallen behind, but I'm catching up bit by bit. But I really hope you're enjoying My Hero. Sounds like you are. <laughs> Naruto and like that's the thing really long series like Naruto and Bleach and uh, One Piece and even Fairy Tale um, it's almost like you're investing in it because they're so long and like I personally enjoy maybe slightly shorter seasons um, like a 12 episode season and then like a couple of like multiple seasons I think as I got into My Hero like only when it was like two or three seasons in so it's been easier to catch up but when there's like a long established backlog of videos to of uh, episodes to watch it kind of deters me from picking it up because i know it's going to take so long to catch up with it all ah uh, that looks good to me 
plenty of bandages, plenty of shovels, plenty of anti-venom, torches, food. I might just grab a bit more food. Yeah. I might actually bring some more torches, just in case. We're not going to be able to take a lot of loot starting out, but that's okay. We will burn through this very quickly, I imagine. Ooh, Violet Evergarden is one I really need to watch. Oh, I'm really glad to hear you like it, Hayden. It's such a good series. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. I should have probably brought more blood, but that's okay. Hey, you didn't get sick. That's good. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. I was sensitive first, but hooked after like 15 minutes. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> it sucks you in so quickly. And it's such a great story, and they're such good characters. And also, Izuku Midoriya, as a, like, uh, anime protagonist, like, high school student boy, he's actually genuinely, like, a, a good character. Like, he's not annoying or shouts all the time like he's ambitious and you know determined but he's so endearing and he's so adorable it's all good Daniel anime is not for everyone um, it's something that I'm steadily getting back into more and more, uh, cause I'm going to more conventions and anime is a big thing of it. Sorry, a big feature of, um, uh, a lot of conventions that I go to. So I'm steadily trying to get back into it more and more. And I love it. I didn't watch anime until yesterday. Ooh, so My Hero Academia is your gateway drug. Good to know. <laughs> hey, there we go. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Ooh, very nice. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Very nice. Ooh, hydrate check from Daniel. Thank you. Oh, post check from Samuel. Uh, thanks for that. Oh, I always need to remind myself. Oh, you guys need to remind me to stretch my back every once in a while. You need some food. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow. Yeah, anime is an inquired taste. It's it's not for everyone and there's no pressure to like get into it. Um, it's just fun because there's so many different anime out there for anyone's taste. No matter how much you look there will always be something for you but again it's not for everyone death by inches. <laughs> I have so many ink points and I don't know what to do with them honestly if you're accumulating ink points like there's no pressure to spend them all like during the chat you could just like let them accumulate over time or maybe like mess around with some of the emotes Anime's not for me, at least not the way it was in my teens. Like, I started watching uh, Inuyasha and Sailor Moon and Cardcaptor Sakura and Fruits Basket. They were kind of my first anime. Um, I kind of fell out of watching it regularly when I was kind of into my... Maybe a couple of years ago, I kind of fell out of it. Like, stopped keeping in touch with it. Um, but then My Hero came out and everyone was talking about it. 
and I decided, you know what, I need to get back into this, and this looks like really fun and good, and the character designs look awesome, and it's kind of been my renace renaissance of anime in my life. Mm. Should grab that Viscount's invitation. And nothing really good up there, but let's have a look anyway, because this is about exploring the rooms. Light, the promise of safety. Uh, I've seen the first season of the reboot of Fruits Basket. I really like it. Um, I haven't seen the second season yet. Might be a little bit underprepared for one uh, for a mission of this length, but that's okay. It's okay. We're going to keep doing our best. I've got three points, thirty-three point four k of ink points. Oh, that is quite a substantial number. Keep on accumulating them, and I'll see if I can concoct some fun ways to use them. In the meantime, you can always just keep reminding me to stay hydrated and check my posture every once in a while. It's also good for if you want to highlight a message that you want to send me in the chat, like uh, ask me a question or something, because as if the chat's really active, then a lot of comments uh, go by, um, and I don't manage to read all of them. So it's a good way to help it stand out in my peripheral vision. I'm sorry, Daniel. I need to finish watching um, uh, The Good Place. I'm sorry. Eh. Hey. Very nice. That is the right attitude, Tom. Shadow Tom. <laughs> Just keep sticking around, having a good time with us, and the points will come. I'm both excited and slightly terrified by the way I said fun ways to use them. <laughs> um, I'm going to have a look around because I imagine more options will be put on Twitch over time uh, for more ways to use channel points. So in the meantime, there's no pressure to like use them uh, in the chat all the time. And feel free to keep saving them up uh, for if the occasion arises. But I'm sure Twitch will be implementing some fun new ways to use channel points in the future. Fingers crossed. As the theme I know, as soon as I say that, everyone's like, I'm gonna highlight my message, and then it's just full of highlighted messages. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually not going to pop that open, just because we've got a quite a ways clear. away to explore the rest of this dungeon. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Ooh. We're also going through these shovels a bit faster than I expected as well. <laughs> oh, the highlighted messages. And agreed, Samuel Shira is amazing. I still need to keep watching it though. I haven't yet gotten to the finale, 
Um, I, I kind of know what happens, and I'm really glad of how it ended, but I'm still catching up, bit by bit. A handsome reward for a task well performed. I think now is a good time where we can rest. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. And let's see if we can de-stress a little bit. stress some people tracking is good tracking is good and let's scout ahead as well that looks good also yes Scorpia just Magnificent. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Yeah, uh, like Scorpio looks like she gives amazing hugs and occasional boops on the snoot. <laughs> I would like to be spooped, snoot, snoot booped by Scorpia. <laughs> snoot boop. Stop digging up graves. Now you got the red plague. What do you have to say for yourself? Hey, boys. Let's see how this get dance goes. <laughs> oh, not too good for you. Off to a good start for us, though. Daniel, I'm so sorry that Endgame was spoiled for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's the worst, especially if you were waiting to see it and then... Ooh! Very nice, Valtharis. Good on you. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Dodge, dodge, very good. Hey. There we go. Oh, we don't want that. We want that. Come on. I know you normally, uh, from Shadow, I know you normally do giveaways for Steam Keys, but would you ever do giveaways for physical prizes in the future? Yes, absolutely. Um, I do have plans on eventually opening a merch store. Uh, it's still a work in progress at the moment, but that's probably what I'd be giving away is, uh, pieces of merch. Like, physical things as well. But that's still a work in progress, but I do have plans for the future. But I have some fun ideas in mind for what I want uh, my merch to be, and I think you guys would like it. Uh, 
Yeah, fun. Actually, on that topic. Oh, god damn it. Storyteller Bree, you now have the Crimson Curse. Good for you. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll help you with your new bloodlust. Shadow Fang, it's still a little bit of work in progress. Um, I. I have been making steps though. I have been making steps in getting things potentially set up for a merch store. But speaking of which, um, for those of you in the chat, who here would actually be interested in merch? Like t-shirts, mugs, phone cases, stickers, that sort of thing. Success so clearly in view. Yes, Storyteller Bree, you've or been inflected. Really trick of the light? You've been afflicted by the Crimson Curse. That's okay. We've got blood for you. You're gonna be okay. Hey, welcome back, Valtharis. Uh, Storyteller Bree, now is the Crimson Curse, and the topic of conversation came up of potential merch, and I'm curious as to who would actually be interested in merch, potentially. Okay. You guys are interested? Good to know. Good to know. Shirts. Down for merch. The other money than I would for sure. That's why I would like to potentially do giveaways of merch as well. And if I was uh, streaming on a much more regular basis, like a couple of days a week, I would like to then make it maybe uh, once a week or something like that, then I'd do like a physical giveaway. That'd be a nice idea. Again, this is just brainstorming stuff for the future. There's still a lot of practical stuff I have to do behind the scenes, but it's just really good to know what you guys are interested in. I mean, for a shirt, hell yeah. That's the right attitude. You guys are really good. Like, I do genuinely appreciate you guys giving me feedback and letting me know what your thoughts are on different things. Shirts for the characters from my Lovecraft series. Ooh, good to know. Okay, good. They're stunned. Well, Sam, well, I didn't uh, initially think that would be a marketable option, but um, good to know that there's a market for that. <laughs> Good to know. Hey, you dodged his words. Good for you. Oh, don't worry, darlings. I have a number of ideas for different merch options. Um, I do want to make them the best they can be, though. So that would mean I would be commissioning artists to design them. Uh, so it does take a little bit of work, but trust me, I have been I have been planning this. I've been planning this for a while. It's just not quite ready yet. Now we have to keep fighting these cursed banana muffins. Look, it's leaking banana goodness all over the floor. <laughs> That's an interesting idea, Shadow Fang. Ooh, that's new. At least promises success. Let's try and make room for that. Crescendo box. I think we've already got one of those, but they are very nice. How about a winning a commission request for your Patreon Twitch subs and having their avatars drawn with either their favorite characters from the stories or your avatar? That could be interesting. I have to think a little bit more about the logistics of that one, but nice suggestion. Very nice suggestion indeed. Oh. All I'm gonna say is that I know there's a market for different things, and um... Let's just see how uh, big I get. And then more potential things might be put in the merch store. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the posture check. Daniel, oh, that was my back. Ow. 
Thank you. Let's get you taken care of then. Also, fun fact, if any of you are planning on ever uh, going on Twitch as a streamer, um, don't have pesto for dinner before jumping on camera, because literally like five, five minutes before I went live, I went to use the bathroom to wash my face. And I realized I had all this pesto, like little bits of basil stuck in my teeth that I didn't realize. And so I just like was furiously scrubbing with my toothbrush just to try and get it all out before I jumped on camera. Like you can eat as much garlic as you want because this isn't like a scratch and sniff sort of thing. But uh, you don't want little bits of pesto stuck in your teeth in front of your live audience. Mordecai, how's it going? Welcome back. Glad you can make it tonight. Yes, I am really glad that I realized that before I went live. Because the thing is, it was really chunky pesto as well, so it was like really big pieces that you could have easily seen on camera, not just like a little grain of black pepper or something. It was like all over my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> nice to know there is a market for everything. That's all I'll say on the subject, guys. <laughs> These nightmarish creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. Gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Uh, and I think with that we'll use up our other firewood. Actually, no, let's go on to the next room. Oh god damn it. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. There we go. And how's it going, Mordecai? How have you been? Like, I don't have a massive problem with people, like, seeing me eat on stream, because, like, I, I drink on stream. Um, and, uh, I've eaten cake on stream before. Uh, I think it's just, if it's just, like, remnants of what you've been eating before that's kind of stuck everywhere, then it's like, mm, you could pop, you could have fixed that before you went live. Yeah. Good beer. Oh, best of luck to you, Mordecai. Like, I completely understand that you're stressed for this exam, but take this weekend to have a moment to breathe and kind of clear your head before sitting down to, like, do the last bit of study before the exam, and I'm sure you'll be amazing. Yes. Let's split these muffins open. Yeah, I feel like it's not a huge market anymore, like, seeing people eat on Twitch. Or just, like, on live streams in general. Because that- I remember that used to be a thing a couple of years ago. But, um... Is that still a thing? I didn't think it was so much anymore. I thought people's tastes had changed.
Shadow, I'll be honest, I don't know what that term means and I'm scared to ask what it is. <laughs> Am I going to be disappointed if I find out what it means? Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, you're fine. Got your blood. Um, yeah, let's rest up. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. More de-stress. More de-stress. Oh, thank you, Shadow. Thank you, because I wasn't sure what that term uh, for that particular type of ASMR is. And it's good to know that in the future, if you guys just want me to listen to me like eat popcorn in dead silence, <laughs> then there's still a market for it somehow. Oh, god damn it. Oof. Okay, it's still a little bit of a niche, though. Cleansed from our lands. There we go. Very well done. Victory, but a victory nonetheless. Hello, gents. Ten hour loop of popcorn chewing. <laughs> the thing is, like, I don't think I could do it though, because, like, you guys have listened to me talk quite extensively at this by this point. Um, I don't think I'd be able to take it seriously, because in the short like clips of videos like that I have seen, they kind of have to keep focus the whole time and not laugh. Um, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd be laughing way too much. Is this doing it for you guys? <laughs> Okay, mukbang is the common term for social eating streams, videos in Korea as I understand it. That's about the sounds more about eating and talking. Okay, that I understand. That I completely understand. Um, I imagine it's a kind of similar uh, satisfying experience like you would if you were listening to like a podcast or watching a Twitch stream while you're eating yourself. Because it, especially if like you're, you live alone and you're alone most of the time, having someone to then eat with who's kind of like being much more engaging with that. I absolutely can understand that. I can totally see the appeal behind that. And that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, hmm. I kind of don't want to get rid of anything else, just in case. Yeah, let's play it safe. I'm trying to resist the urge to steal all the shinies. But it wounds me. I have streams on almost all the time now. I work from home currently and live alone, so I'm absolutely Mornington Crescent. I'm kind of the same. I have like random stuff in the background while I'm just around my house doing stuff. A lot of the time it's like compilations of people playing uh, like different games together and stuff, or it's podcasts, or it's uh, other things like that. Uh, but yep, yeah, I totally get you. I totally get you. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. That makes a lot of sense, Dragon. Um, the highbrow sociologist theory is exactly that. In increasing social isolation in Korea and other places leads to social uh, 
social eating streams essentially replacing family dinners. I could absolutely see that, especially for a lot of young people, um, because as far as I know, a lot of uh, households in uh, Asia are very family focused and, you know, it's always around uh, family for the longest time and then when you're suddenly expected to, you know, move out, mature, start uh, work and everything like that. It's a very jarring experience to then go from a bubbling family household with lots of people around you to being completely on your own. So I absolutely, absolutely get why this is an increasing phenomena. I think Samuel, Samuel, I think the less highbrow theory is crunchy sounds make people happy. Loud crunchy sounds make people happy and make people hungry. <laughs> oh, Daniel with the hydration check and Mordecai with the posture check. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates I shall do both. Fall. There we go. Thank you guys. Lovely. And I think we just have one more room left. Let's see. Let's go this way. Last bit of loot. But we've already plotted that out, so that's okay. Oh, that Japanese woman who went to McDonald's and other stuff and just eat. Amazing how mad, how much she ate. She never gained weight and she would just keep eating it. It was insane. <laughs> Honestly, some people's metabolism just makes me green with envy and I respect them so much. Hopefully this last room should be the end of this and then it counts as 90% rooms explored. Hey, there we go. Soldiers and supplies. Let them arrive on Harry. <laughs> Lowbrow theory. Monkey brains say pretty person plus tasty food equals very good. Yes. This is the true wisdom behind this. <laughs> and we got some very nice shinies out of this. And Valtharis is up to level 2. Congratulations. I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. Oh, Baroness, I'd sell my soul to Slanesh to be able to eat whatever without gaining any weight. Those are dangerous words, my dear. Who knows who might be listening? <laughs> I'm sure you're absolutely gorgeous exactly as you are, and you should love yourself. Everyone wants to change their body in some way, but I hope you still love the skin you're in. So, um, Samuel, is, uh, I think Corn might be a little bit insulted by that. Like, I would say that Corn is the swole god, Slanesh is the dummy thick god. Just saying. Oh no, no wait, Nurgle's dummy thick, Corn is swole. Slanesh is a thought. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and we don't have any vestals. I don't think it's her metabolism. I think when my cousin showed me that video, uh, he said she had some kind of medical condition. Okay. Interesting. Maybe just like she can't absorb certain nutrients like the same way, so she doesn't gain weight as readily. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, does anyone need a little bit more R&R? &R? I think Samuel does. Yeah, Samuel, I think is still a little bit rocked by how last time went. But actually, as a jester, that's not too bad. I think they can live with that for now. Hmm. Would there be another video of me singing on my channel? Um, 
just because of of uh, Twitch's new rules when it came when it comes to licensed music, I won't be singing anymore on the stream with like backing music. Um, I would like to release song covers at some point, but that's still very much a work in progress, and uh, I, there's some more stuff I need to take care of first before getting that done to the level that I would want it to, if that makes sense. <laughs> Aiden, I watched the Q&A while at work today and completely lost it at the dummy thick Cthulhu again. Absolutely. The clapping of his giant ass cheeks is alerting the cultists. <laughs> oh, enjoy your food, Shadow Fang. I could use a snack right now. <laughs> Do love myself, but one thing I would change is getting one of those semi six pack sets. Is more of a four pack. Like they look like still some fat still there. See, that's reasonable. You can work towards that. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. <laughs> His new name is now Cth 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 Cthulhu. <laughs> I'm trying to pronounce that right, but it's not working. Oh, how are we going? Hmm. How's everyone's sanity doing? The clap of his ass is driving thy followers into madness. What some foolery is this? Now, are there any bosses that we can fight? Not really. There's a lot of ancestor stuff to collect, though. Why don't we go explore uh, the state a little bit more, um, the garden, and see if we can find a get a be get a better idea of where the Viscount might be. Um, let's take Fallout Kid, our occultist, and let's grab the rest of the regular crew. Yep, yeah, we've got enough invitations. Cthulhu. <laughs> you guys are wonderful. Thank you for blessing my chat with this wonderful knowledge. Gloria and Excelsis Terra to you too, Baronessa. Uh, but careful, the dummy thick Cthulhu might alert uh, the Emperor who might call. Okay, who would. Would Cthulhu survive an exterminatus from the Empire of Mankind? I'm just saying, would he survive? And then that question arises, who's more powerful, the, uh, Cthulhu or the Emperor? Like, 40k Emperor. Not the hydrated Emperor. <laughs> Oh, I haven't seen any of the Ancestor parodies made by Omnipresent. Omnipresent, sorry. I have to check them out sometime. Uh, I don't think we're going to go for a long journey. Um, a long adventure. I just wanted to maybe see if we can pick up some more resources. Just in case. Because I've also got like some gold to burn in our pockets, so let's see if we can try and map this out a bit more. Because the Cthulhu is clearly the fifth chaos god. <laughs> I can actually kind of see that. Oh, I should have heard the idea I gave Murphy. Uh, I said, "What's up, salty crew?" Now he wants to put that either on Legends or sell it as like a green for a stream. Oh, that's awesome! That's really good, because the best thing about Twitch is that this stuff kind of just happens organically over time. Like, certain nicknames kind of come about. Like, some stuff is definitely uh, planned uh, that we put a good amount of thought into, but then, like, stuff organically happens just with, like, the sound of it, or you guys seem to really like it. Like, the whole shinies thing, that, like, kind of picked up more and more because 
it just kind of became a running joke. It's a running joke, not a problem. I can quit any time I want. <laughs> Anything good? No. Hello, beasties. Chaos god of clapping cheeks, thundering thighs, and the shooketh. Behold the fifth chaos god. Not a fan of that. Oh, that's good then. Come on. for the posture check. Daniel! Oh! Probably all heard that. That was my elbows. And Veronessa with the hydrate check. Thank you. Thank you for that. There we go. Yes, pretty much like you guys making sure I keep my posture somewhat under control is really, really good because it encourages me to just kind of flex my joints a little bit. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, honestly, you guys are a very chaotic good chat. In all the right ways. Like, you all have fun, you all have a good time, you all support each other, but also, when the chaos conversations start, then you guys are absolutely in for it. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like... There's a number of cracks that I should talk about. <laughs> um, it's not a huge thing, it's just uh, my joints get a little bit stiff. Um, they don't cause... I don't feel any pain, it's not anything serious. It's just that it just feels good to kind of crack those joints a little bit uh, whenever I stretch. It's a bad habit. Sorry. I do not like this at all. That's making me nervous. Stop that. Stop that, you bitch! There we go. That's better. Stop that. God damn it! Fuck's sake! Thank you, Hayden. <laughs> it's just like those little air bubbles just in the liquid between your joints that escape that makes that popping sound, so it's all good. I think it's only if you're in actual pain after you do it then you should be worried, but it's all good on my end. I'm very careful with my joints, to be honest. Because, um, uh, funny story. Uh, I used to do martial arts, and when I was about 14, I was uh, doing these kicks up and down uh, the hall uh, where we were exercising. And I did a kick that was like just a normal one, but I must have pivoted my hips in the wrong way. Because uh, essentially what I did is um, I slipped a disc in my lower back. 
Um, so between the bones of your spine, there's like a sliver of cartilage uh, between each of those joints. Essentially what I did is I kind of shifted that bit of cartilage in a direction that it wasn't supposed to go in. <laughs> So since then, I've always made sure to take care of my joints and all that good stuff. So this was like years and years ago, so I'm all better now. It's just something I just, I keep an eye on, just in case. Oh yeah, trust me, when it did happen, I was really worried about it. But I got better. <laughs> Ooh, pass check, Daniel. Ooh, thank you. Also, this fight is going on longer than I expected it to. Stop that. That's also making me very, very nervous. Come on. Okay, one more down. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Fucking damn it! Okay, good, good, good. Just got one more. Okay, great, thanks. It's the thought that counts, I guess. There we go. That's more like it. Creatures can be felled, they can be beaten. Everyone's gonna have a snack. God, that was way too close for my liking. A full pack often attracts unwanted attention. Let's go up. Ooh, treasure. Nice. Okay, we need a key. It always looks so awkward when they have to go backwards. Okay, so this is where we need the key. We need to find a key. Red Hawk Black Sheep, how's it going? Welcome back. So glad you could join us tonight. Actually, no, I'm gonna hold on to the shovels just in case we need to use them to clear the way. Ancient. Traps lie in wait, unsprung and thirsting for blood. Oh, uh, good question, Daniel. Will we play the stream that we played last time? Uh, yes, I am planning on doing a, another stream this Sunday uh, in which we'll, we'll be playing Kind Words. Uh, kind Words it was the wonderful game that I tried out last time, and everyone seemed to enjoy it, so I think we'll be doing more of that. And, oh, no, there isn't a live narration this week, um, uh, this month, because I took this month off of making Patreon rewards. So that will be picking up as normal as of next month. A momentary abatement. Good, good. Hmm. 
Excuse me. There we go. Oh, it's all good, Samuel. It's all good. I should probably clarify that in a bit more detail in the future. Hey, there we go. Honestly, you guys did such an amazing job um, uh, the last time we played Kind Words. Uh, so, think of some other good ways that we can, like, lovely messages or quotes that you'd like to help put out into the world uh, for other people playing this game. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. Not this game, Darkest Dungeons, but the game we're playing on Sunday. Get rid of the skeleton key because we already have a whole ton of stuff. Okay, good, good, good. The team buffed the Jester super good with leather since it gives speed and accuracy. Ooh, good to know. Good to know. Um, just because people started to get a little bit stressed, I was a bit more focusing on getting that nailed down. <laughs> Subscribe to Stephanie Swanquill's channel on YouTube. That would be good advice. Like, <laughs> very, very nice sentiments indeed. I'm sure everyone will appreciate whatever kind of words you have to share. Stop that. Honestly, while the buff is really good for, um, uh, the leper. At the moment, I'm using him to kind of stress heal people because a lot of these people are getting, a lot of these heroes are getting really stressed really quickly. There we go. One down. Stop that. I don't like that! Oh, I'm sorry, our cultist is just getting so stressed though, I'm just trying to heal him from stress a little bit before he snaps. Thank you for the hydrate check, Daniel. Need to stay hydrated. Ah, god damn it. Frick frack. Okay, good. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. Mm -mm. 
Okay, 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 okay. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Almost there, guys. Almost there. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Anything? Okay, good. We've got the key. Oh, thank God. It wasn't too far after all. I was worried we'd have to backtrack a really long way. Um, who needs... Actually... Okay, got the key. Oh, that was refreshing, actually, that we didn't have to go... Hard. I was worried we'd have to go all the way down there to get to that fucking key. But, because I remember this, uh last time when we were journeying halfway across the map to find the bloody thing. Oof. So I am very happy about that. That fight did take a while though. That was a... a challenge. A formidable challenge. I'm just going to heal up people just a little bit more, just in case you get caught by off guard. Hey! There we go. Let's go just a little bit further. But we're still going to play it somewhat safe. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. No, we don't have herbs. That's okay. Stop eating the bad food. <laughs> okay, you need blood. That's okay. We've got blood. Drink the blood. <gasps> Fuck. Taste for morbidity is made more pronounced by his mutation. Okay, guys, we're up against the Viscount. Fuck. I thought we'd have a bit more time to prepare. Shit. Okay. A singular Holy strike. shit. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna do our best. If we need to retreat, we retreat. For now, we're just gonna do our fucking best. Okay. Okay. I apologize in advance if I'm really quiet throughout a lot of this. I'll just probably need a little bit of to focus on trying not to let you guys die. <laughs> okay, guys who have played this before, um, if we attack the food, uh, does it just refresh automatically, or does he have to take a time, uh, some time to bring those down? Okay, kill the food. Okay, good to know. Oh fuck, okay. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's so gross, but that's so cool at the same time. Shit, okay. Oh, 
Okay. Fuck. Uh, this really took me off guard. I'm gonna try my best to keep everyone alive. If I see anyone that's in a chance of dying, we're, re we're retreating the fuck out of here. And I agree, this game is so messed up, but I love it. Oh guys, I'm send me your energy with this one because I'm nervous about this. Everyone's getting stressed very quickly. <sighs> send me your energy, guys. Oh, I'm so nervous about this. Come on. That hurt. That really hurt. Come on. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Those who covered injury find it in no short supply. You guys are saying retreat. I. A part of me just wants to see what happens if we get all the food off the map. Yeah, he wasn't happy about that. Come on. Okay. The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Oh, it's so gross. So gross, but I love this game. <sighs> oh, that hurts. That hurts. And he does not like it when we touch his food. Madness, our old friend. Stop that. Stop that. I don't like that. Set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Shit, I forgot to give him blood. Okay. Okay, good to know.
I'm nervous about this. We might be able to pull this off, though. Okay, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, he's got repost up. That's okay. That's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We need to save the healer. Mark you. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That really hurts. That really hurts. That really hurts. That really hurts. Oh, gods. I'm really... I'm really nervous about this, guys. We might be able to do this. We might be able to do this, but I'm... Oh, boy. This is cutting it close. Hi, Violet Machine. How's it going? Fuck. Okay, is the Jester going to die? In the next turn? Okay, fuck it. In that case, if the Jester's going to go down, we're retreating. We're retreating right the fuck now. This skirmish may be lost, but the battle no. may yet be won. Okay. Okay, we're getting right the fuck out. That was way too close. That caught us completely off guard. Holy shit. <laughs> um, at least now we know where the Viscount is, unless he changes location. Um, thank you for the hydration check, Daniel. Oh. I think we could have pulled it off if the fact that we weren't already so stressed from previous fights caught us off guard. Fuck. Okay. That was way too close. <sighs> okay. We know where he is. All we have to do is retreat, gather our senses again, regroup, and then we go back in all guns blazing. Finally, the serum is working. The side effects are manageable. Medical breakthrough. The time and gold were not spent in vain. However, as today's caregivers announced, they have succeeded in concocting an effective antidote. Medical ward is free. Fantastic. Does anyone have any diseases? And of course, no one has any diseases. Um, hmm. Actually, are there any quirks that we wouldn't mind locking down? Trying to think of like our main lineup of heroes. Is this free? No, that's expensive. Yes, that's very expensive. Okay, let's not do that then. But no one's got any diseases that they need cured, which is a little annoying. That's okay. That's okay. We need to get you guys some rest. Mortimer, what's your thing? Okay, you're good. You need that. You need that. Anyone else need some stress relief? Everyone else is good for now. Uh, yeah, that was just way too fucking close, guys. Um, thank you. For everyone in the chat who told me that the Jester was going to go down at that last 
if it got to his top of his round, because otherwise we would have been fucked, like completely fucked. Because Samuel, dear Samuel, our jester, he has seen us through many battles and we want him to stick around to the end. And we already lost one proud warrior tonight. And we still await another one to return to us. Oh, good gods. <laughs> yes, we are rescheduling his death for another time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and the quirk system, it's its just so expensive. Like, it's only if we had a little bit of money left over I might consider doing it. Um, but yeah, not really a priority at the moment. I think our main priority is just keeping people alive and keeping the plot moving forward as best we can, mostly. But let's get Valtharis his increased weapons and armor and his abilities. Lovely. Oh, and I think... Yes. Let's improve that. And yes, they on head max. Yes, honestly, thank you so much, chat, for giving us the insight uh, to take care of that before things went completely out of control. Because losing two level six heroes at this point in the game is not nice at all. At all. Um, hmm. Everyone else is looking pretty good. Yeah, let's just let those guys take a little bit of a rest and let's just see how the board is looking. Any other bosses? We should start collecting the ancestors relics uh, from time to time. I just find going after the bosses is more fun and probably more entertaining for you guys, so that's why I kind of prioritize that. But I think with that blood-curdling almost ending of a number of heroes, let's kind of let's leave the Redthorn estate for now and go back to the circus for one last attempt for tonight. For now. Calls. Thank you so much for the hydro check, Daniel. To see you stretch a little bit too. Mm. Oh, the ancestor's ring is really good. Have to keep an eye out for it. We might go after that uh, next time, methinks. I think for now, let's just go uh, into the circus and do one more fight. I quite, I really like this third squad lineup. I think this is a tried and true lineup, so let's see. Hopefully, this will be a winning combination this time. <laughs> I'll see you later, Daniel. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you on Sunday, the Sunday stream. Ugh. Ugh. I still got chills of just how close that came. Because I thought we'd have to face up against that uh, crocodile thing again before we went after we faced the Viscount. Um, so that really took me off guard, but I'm really glad that he just stays in the same spot and we can just kind of take another shot at killing him again. Because I think, um, the next time we face him, we'll be much better prepared. Stephanie Swan Quills versus Bastion135. Very nice looking banner. Ooh. Goody. The contest begins. Let's get those bleeds going early. Thirst squad, thirst squad, thirst squad. Come on, guys. We got it this time. I feel good about this one.
What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> what will you do? I think I always make the mistake of not focusing on like one, or I make the mistake of focusing on one hero at a time. Uh, but I try and keep a balance between uh, getting bleeds across the board um, and then like picking off one at a time. But I think also because it's not in a set order, it's a uh, it's a little tricky in that way. I'm steadily starting to develop a slightly better strategy for this. God fucking damn it. Okay. I guess not then. Damn it. Uh. Hmm. I probably should have used Breakthrough, I agree, Samwell. Oh, thank you for the posture check, Baronessa. The thing is, with uh, Breakthrough, is that when it's uh, Butcher Circus, it stuns the Hellion for the next round. So it's good for some things in terms of movement and doing damage at the same time, but it also stuns her as well, which kind of sucks.
Yeah, it's a bit of a big trade-off. So it's it's good for a lot of things, but it's just things are slightly changed in uh, this DLC. Which is both a blessing and a curse. Damn it. And those dodges, they just hurt all the more. Oh, God damn it. Come on, come on. Yeah. Wherefore, heroism? God damn it. Fuck. That hurts. That really hurts. <sighs> oh my god, you're kidding me. I think after the excitement of almost dying at the Viscount's hands, um, everyone's kind of like a little bit out of breath. <laughs> but it's all good, it's all good. It was a very intense fight. Precision and power. Come on. Yeah, I don't know what it is, like, we're just not having luck with this DLC. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Yep. There can be no hope in this hell. No hope at all. God damn it. Damn it all. Back now. I could try to finale someone. A powerful blow. I might try and blow finale on the occultist just to get one of their main healers off the board and I think that's enough damage down that they shouldn't be able to bounce back from it too easily. Fear and, frailty. and then the Jester can go back to doing what he does best. Come on. Fuck! God damn it, it wasn't enough. Should have done it one more time. God damn it. Yeah, I don't like our odds with this one, guys. Yeah, I think the people who were really diligent about this DLC, um, even though like you're matched with people of a similar rank to you, people have a established pattern now of knowing what works and what doesn't work. At the very precipice of oblivion.
Masterfully Oof. executed. Still wasn't a huge amount of damage though. Shit. God damn it. Yeah, a part of me is tempted to surrender with this just because it's a massively losing battle. Our Vestal's gonna have a heart attack. But I want to see this through to the end still. I just had high hopes about this one and part of me is like, damn it. It's confirmed I really do suck at this DLC. God damn it, yeah. We're just missing every attack. Yep, our vessel's dead. Fuck it, if you're gonna die, then go out in style. <laughs> Reeling, gasping, taken over the edge into madness. I've run out of fucks to give. We're gonna die, at least we'll go, we'll go down in splendor. Yeah, the dice gods are saying no. I just think we had rotten luck. They had a strategy that worked and it worked for them, so kudos to them. This is no yep. place for the weak or the foolhardy. Honestly, I think there is an achievement for if you kill your entire party by stressing the, your opposite party uh, by stressing them out to the point where they all get heart attacks. So, you know what? At least they got an achievement out of it, so. <laughs> there we go. But we still keep trying our best, and that's all you can ever hope to do. Ah, <sighs> oh, what's the time? Yep. It's late over here, so I think I'm going to call it a night, guys, if that's alright with you. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep trying my best at this DLC. I think it's been proven time and again I'm not exactly the best at it. Um, if you guys want to maybe pair it back to maybe just 
checking it out at the start of the stream and then not necessarily at the end of it, that might be a better option for us going forward. Because this was really cool to explore and see what we can do. I'm just thinking this probably isn't the right fit for me because I'm not the best at player versus player. And personally, I'd rather stick with, you know, keep on exploring and building up our main party and seeing where we go from that. And I think next time we're going to be sinking our teeth into the Viscount. And uh, fingers crossed that ne the next fight is going to go a lot smoother than tonight's did. Ah, <laughs> so... With that, we will be wrapping up this evening. Thank you all so, so, so much for joining me tonight. The first half hour of tonight was completely and absolutely insane in all the best ways. So thank you all so very much to every single one of you who donated, who subscribed, who bit dropped uh, across the entire evening tonight. Thanks to your generosity, we've been able to reach uh, my goal for some new PC upgrades. So I'm going to be talking to a friend about getting those sorted, and I literally couldn't have done this without you. So thank you so, so, so much, you guys. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. I always insist take care of your own financials before considering donating to me, and your generosity just continues to astound me. So thank you all so very much. Truly, truly thank you. And with that, uh, I'll do my strange little outro, I guess. <laughs> if you like what you've seen so far and you've been hanging out in the background, please consider hitting the follow button. We would love to have you back at the Blue Rose Respite once again. If you like uh, my style of entertainment and you want to see more, be sure to check out the links to my YouTube channel for my ASMR tales, my Warhammer and horror narrations. And be sure to follow me on Twitter as well, at StephSwanQuills for spur of the moment updates and occasional shitposting. <laughs> and I will see you all on Sunday evening for our chill night at the Blue Rose Respite, where we will continue to spread positive vibes out into the world and see if we can help some people who are in need of a little bit of extra oomph, shall we say. <laughs> but thank you all so very much. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And as always, <laughs> and as always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and as always, stay wicked and wonderful. Good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs>